How does the Bluetooth technology actually function? You consistently put it to use. It is a cinch to connect speakers and devices using this device. However, how does it operate in practice? It didn't take long for Bluetooth to become an integral component of day-to-day -day living. After its introduction into the mainstream market in 1999, in today's world, nearly every portable electronic device, including smartphones, smart watches, and wireless speakers, comes equipped with a Bluetooth module. However, despite its widespread use, many people still aren't familiar with how Bluetooth operates. Here is an explanation of how Bluetooth truly operates, including everything from signal frequency and interference from the environment to codecs, range, and advancements. Before we dive into more details about it, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more. What exactly is Bluetooth? It is essential to have an understanding of what Bluetooth is before delving into specifics of how Bluetooth technology operates and how newer versions are stronger and better than older ones. Bluetooth is a radio transmission technology that has the modest power output and a short of range. It is made up of electromagnetic waves that do not use ionization and exist in radio spectrum between 2.402 and 2.48 GHz. Bluetooth is able to conserve far more energy than other radio transmission systems due to its position at the lower end of the range. Because of this, it is simple to adopt into small-sized gadgets like cell phones without having to worry too much about the effect it would have on their battery life. Without the need for a physical medium, Bluetooth signals are able to traverse wide areas as well as some obstructions. The intensity of a Bluetooth signal is a primary factor that determines how far it can travel. Another factor is if there are barriers that are sufficiently thick or construction of materials that distort and degrade the signal beyond the point where it can be recognized. How exactly does Bluetooth function? Software comes in as the initial step in the transmission of Bluetooth signals from your phone to your headset. Your data such as photographs, audio, and so on cannot be transmitted over Bluetooth in its current state. It begins by passing through a compression mechanism known as codecs, which separates the data into its own individual packet. Codecs such as APTX, AAC, SBC, and LDAC need to be compatible between the device that is transmitting the signal and the device that is receiving it. There are numerous ideal little codecs for the various types of data. These codecs have an impact on a variety of aspects, including power consumption, transfer rate, data quality, and connection range. There are 79 defined Bluetooth channels, and in order for devices to communicate with one another, they need to be set to the same frequency channel, which has a bandwidth of 1 MHz. In this regard, Bluetooth channels can be thought as being analogous to various Wi-Fi channels that are available on your router. When two devices that use Bluetooth are close together, they are able to connect one another. They need to be set to the same frequency channel, which has a bandwidth of 1 MHz. In this regard, Bluetooth channels can be thought of as being analogous to various Wi-Fi channels that are available on your router. When two devices that use Bluetooth are close together, they are able to connect to one another and communicate using the little computer chips that are embedded within them. This piece of hardware is in charge of sending out and receiving radio waves used by Bluetooth. The Signal Spectrum and Bluetooth Classifications In general, the frequency should be decreased such as the range increases. However, in comparison to their high-frequency counterparts, low-frequency signals contain a far smaller amount of data. Bluetooth requires a constant supply of power. If you're ready to devote a sufficient amount of energy, you will be able to send a Bluetooth signal that is high-frequency and data-rich over a greater distance. In point of fact, the development of a new version of Bluetooth requires striking a balance between the amount of power it consumes the level of quality it provides, and the distance it can go. These examples include Class 1, 
Bluetooth signals can travel 328 feet at a power level of 100 milliwatts. Class 2. Bluetooth communicates at a power level of 2.5 milliwatts for distances of up to 33 feet. Class 3. Bluetooth has a range of less than 30 feet and emits a signal with just 1 milliwatt of power. As a point of comparison, the majority of modern Bluetooth headphones, headsets, and phones belong to the Class 2 Bluetooth standards, while other belong to the Class 3 standard. In the case of Class 1 Bluetooth, the long-range capabilities necessitate a significant amount of energy, which in most cases necessitates the use of an external power source in addition to a portable battery. In industrial implementations such as Internet of Things, devices and applications in a factory or assemble line, Class 1 Bluetooth devices can be found. Interference from the background It is possible that you've noticed that your wireless headphone pick up a static while you're on a busy street or in a crowded subway car. This can happen when there is a lot of food movement. This is because there are 79 divine channels for Bluetooth. As was indicated earlier, if you are in an environment where many people are using Bluetooth devices within a range of approximately 10 meters or 33 feet, such as school, a library, or an office, then 79 channels are typically sufficient. However, when a large number of devices compete for a little amount of space, signals begin to interfere with one another. Even if you tune your device to the same channel as someone else and try to access their Bluetooth signal, you won't be able to because Bluetooth is encrypted. However, their signal will still collide with yours and cause it to become less effective. Another reason why Bluetooth is only utilized for short-range communication is because of its susceptibility to attack. When compared to long distances measuring in the miles, environments ranging from 30 to 100 feet in radius are much simpler to manage. Other elements that can interfere with Bluetooth signals include the following. Physical barriers Metal, plaster, concrete, and even humidity have the largest effect on the quality of Bluetooth, with materials such as wood, glass, plastic being at the bottom of the list. Receiver sensitivity A greater distance will result in a weaker signal. It is possible that the receiver will not be able to receive and decode it correctly if it does not have sufficient sensitivity. Power transmission the lower the base power of the signal, the less effective it will be across greater distance and when passing through obstructions. Bluetooth Models and Variants The Bluetooth technology that was available back in the early 2000s is not the same as the one that is used today. The fundamentals remain the same. However, newer versions of Bluetooth able to accomplish more fewer resources. The evolution of Bluetooth is characterized by changes in power consumption, range, and the rate at which data is transferred, which affects audio latency. Bluetooth version 1.0 consumed a lot of electricity, but its maximum speed was just 1 Mbps, and its range was only 33 feet. Although Bluetooth 2.0 was capable of data transfers, at 3 Mbps, it cannot compete with a significant improvement in performance brought about by Bluetooth 3.0, which can do at 24 Mbps. However, Bluetooth 3.0 devices expend a significant amount of power whenever they use the 802.11 protocol adaption layer. However, Bluetooth versions 1.0 through 3.0 are becoming increasingly difficult to locate in commercially available products these days. They have been succeeded by Bluetooth versions 4.0 and 5.0 respectively. Both of these standards are capable of operating as Bluetooth low energy with a range of up to 250 meters and a speed that is guaranteed to be at least 2 Mbps. Why you should get familiar with how Bluetooth operates. The capabilities of Bluetooth are comparable to those of Wi-Fi, GPS, and mobile towers. 
because it is integrated into virtually all components of today's technology. A fundamental level of comprehension is required to operate it. If you're familiar with the differences between various versions of Bluetooth and the codecs used for transmission, you will be able to select devices that have the characteristics you require. For example, there is no requirement for a power-intensive and long-range Bluetooth in a wireless keyboard. Nevertheless, these properties are much more significant with wireless headphones because you are going to be moving around with them. The technology known as Bluetooth enables devices to communicate with one another without the use of wires or cables. Because Bluetooth relies on radio frequencies that only have a short range, any device that contains the technology can connect with one another, so long as they are within the specified range. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one.